Hey, Kerry, how you doing? I'm doing well. Hey, just, you know, coming in on a one-year contract, um, you know, kind of being recognized as a, a, an under-the-radar signing, uh, can you please speak to just what this season meant for you as far as just kind of proving your place in the NFL and that, you know, maybe – next off season, wherever you end up, you're not going to be an under the radar signing. Um, it, it means, it means a lot to me. I, um, I put in a lot of work in my career and into the off season. And, um, I've had a couple like mishaps in my career where I either got injured or kind of got regulated to spot duty. When I signed with a team, I just, I was excited to earn that respect throughout through the league, man. And I just want to continue to grow that and, and it's continued to like lengthen my career. Kerry, in talking to some of your teammates today, it's clear that this season took a, a huge toll, uh, physically, um, mentally, emotionally. You're one of the, the few guys that was able to play all season. Um, I know it's only one day after the season ended, but it, how difficult was that? I mean, how exhausting um, in all those facets I just mentioned was it? And does this year kind of stand out uh, in that regard? It does. You have to really be mentally strong this year. It was a tough year, you know. We're, we're away from our families. We're away from our home here in Santa Clara. And, um, and everything was on the fly, you know. It wasn't something that you could prepare for. So... I think as a team, we, we did a good job of talking to each other, just trying to you know make the best out of every situation, man, and uh, and giving our all each day. It was it, it was an unprecedented year, and I think as a group we handled it well. You know, we didn't get the results we wanted, obviously with our record wise, but I think with the foundation and the core of this team, man, and just the future is really bright. Hey, Kerry, it was pretty early in the season where, you know, it was like, okay, there's no D Ford, there's no Nick Bosa, there's no Ronald Blair. I mean, it was kind of like, you know, you were one of the guys who was like, okay, someone's going to step up, you know, maybe it was going to have to be you, you to do it. You, you obviously were able to do that. But initially, was there pressure that came with that? You know, okay, like, hey, I've got to fill these guys' views. Um. I don't think it was pressure. I just, I didn't want the team have to go outsource people. You know, I was ready. I was on the roster. And when given the opportunity, I just wanted to showcase what I could do and really show them that I can do it and you don't have to go find nobody else. Just, just let me spin and I, I'm going to try to do, I'm going to do everything I can to, to, um, to help the team win. <coughs> I don't want to sound too dramatic here, but it certainly sounds like uh, Chris Kosarek kind of stuck his neck out for you a little bit and, and kind of got on the table and, and wanted you to be part of this team. Uh, have you two had any conversations? Uh, has he kind of expressed his appreciation for, you know, how much in essence, you know, you made him look good and mm -hmm. how important is it for you to continue that union uh, with Chris Kosarek as your defensive line coach? Uh, me and Chris have a really tight relationship, man. We talk all the time and, you know, he did stand on the table for me. He did want me here. And without him, I, don't, I probably wouldn't have been here this year. And I came in ready and I did not want to let him down. You know, that coach has always been there for me and he's he always wants me to do well. So when he gave me the opportunity, I just, I want to do everything in my power to make sure that I didn't let him down and I didn't let the team down. Carrie, how important, like your relationship with Chris Kassarik, how important is that type of relationship for you when you look towards free agency? And then also, you know, if a team is going to go through a rebuilding process versus being a contender? Um, you know, Chris is my brother for life. You know, um, you know, the season just ended. I'm not really like, I'm not sure how to. I've never been in a situation in free agency where I wasn't just hoping to be on a team, you know? So this would be a different year for me where I'll, I'll have, you know, I'll, I won't be an under radar signing, you know, I'll be a guy that will be top on the market. So 
I don't really know what to expect. And I, I really just don't take it in with my family and, you know, kind of work through those details, you know. But Chris is a, a wonderful coach, man. He's close with me and my family. And and I, I, I absolutely love being a 49er. So I would want nothing more than to continue this relationship. And through all of the challenges and adversity you guys faced this season, how important it was, is it and how much more does it mean to you that you had this type of season? Um, it means all the world to me, man. I trained and I always told myself I was a, I was a really good player. I would never, I would always tell me, I would always write it down. I always do things to, to remind myself that I can't do this in this league and I am a good player, you know, and I was just happy to put it on tape again this year. And so other one, everyone else can, can see it. Last one, Matt. Yeah, thank you. Um, geez, the, the uh, this season, uh, you know, was, you got some nice exposure with, with Robert Sala and, you know, his name is being thrown around a lot and he raised, you know, interviewing with teams for head coaching possibilities. Have, have you thought much about the possibility that, you know, obviously Chris and the 49ers want you back and, and the you know, John Lynch and everybody, but also the opportunities that you will have wherever Robert Sala ends up as well. And, and what would be you, your general thoughts on uh, players who have played for Robert Sala wanting to be part of his program, wherever that might be. You know, he's a, he's a great coach and he's going to be a, a uh, hell of a head coach. And like I said, I haven't really got into much of the thought of free agency or where I'm going to be and who I'm going to play with. You know, I'm, I'm still honestly getting over the loss from last night. Like, despite our record, I wanted to win yesterday. So um, I'm not really sure about that. I just know that he's a great coach and I would love to play for him no matter where he's at. So if he's a D coordinator, if he's a head coach somewhere, um, you know, Coach Sala has my vote.